And since we are talking about the G20 summit, how can we not discuss the guest list? U.S. President Joe Biden will be there, Emmanuel Macron will be there, Anthony Albanese will be attending as well, besides several other attendees and dignitaries. Xi Jinping, the president of China, though, may not come. And we told you about this on Thursday. We also discussed why, the possible reasons behind his absence, his possible absence. Is it because India is hosting the event? Is it because he is afraid of being ignored? Is it because he fears China's actions might get called out? We discussed almost every possibility. And tonight, we come to you with a new one. Is Xi Jinping planning to perhaps skip the summit due to Taiwan, due to the activism of India and other G20 nations? Is this the real reason behind his planned absence at that summit? And it could be if we go by some recent developments. Last month, the former chiefs of India's three services were in Taipei to engage with various sections of the Taiwanese leadership and also to express India's views to them. This included Admiral Karambir Singh, the former chief of the Indian Navy, General M. M. Naravane, the former chief of the Indian Army, and Air Chief Marshal R. K. S. Bhaduria, the former chief of Air Staff of the Indian Air Force. The three of them represented India in Taipei at the Katakalan Forum's 2023 Indo-Pacific Security Dialogue. And their presence there resulted in a lot of speculation, especially about India's stand on Chinese aggression against Taiwan. Remember, the Indian Armed Forces have been locked in a face-off with the PLA in Ladakh and other places along the line of actual control. Ch Taiwan also is suffering due to aggressive Chinese tactics. So this move was seen as India directly backing Taiwan against China. Three weeks on, Xi Jinping is likely and could be skipping the G20 summit. So we must ask... Are these two developments linked? Has India's support towards Taiwan rattled China? Has the presence of India's former defense chiefs unnerved Xi Jinping? And as we ponder upon these questions, let's also look at what the other G20 nations are doing regarding Taiwan. We'll start off with the UK. Its foreign minister, James Cleverly, is on a visit to Beijing. And as he attends official engagements back home, the British parliamentarians have a triggered a firestorm. Have a look at this report. For the first time ever, the British Parliament has referred to Taiwan as an independent country. The new language was adopted in a report by the Foreign Affairs Committee, and this is one of the most influential committees in the House of Commons. Reports say its decision could risk a stinging backlash from Beijing. And next, we have the United States. On Wednesday, the US president approved military aid for Taiwan. Do you know which program? He approved this under the Foreign Military Financing or FMF program. This is usually used for sovereign states. In other words, this move will not only send millions in military aid to, to Taiwan, but will also recognize Taiwan as a sovereign state. And next we have Australia. Reports in the Taiwanese media saying that a group of Australian parliamentarians are expected to visit Taiwan somewhere next month. The 10-member delegation will apparently include lawmakers from both sides of the political spectrum. And then we have France. Earlier this month, it said it had received EU authorization to provide 1.5 billion euros in subsidies to a Taiwanese company. And France is reportedly building its first electric vehicle battery factory with this company. So it's not just India. Almost every major G20 nation is engaging with Taiwan. And these engagements have in fact picked up pace. Clearly, the developments might have upset the Chinese president. They might have instilled a fear in him that the summit could be used to sideline Beijing. That India might take the home field advantage to take on China on sensitive issues. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.